I got the power, I got unlimited power. I got the power, I got unlimited power. I got the power, I got unlimited power. One in the game, we are not playing the same. I was just going insane. From red to blue, from blue to red, and from red from overhead. We're playing, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing. We're playing, we're playing, we're playing. We're playing. So what do you think about the uh, the trailer? Oh, okay. Well, hmm. This uh, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, in terms of of content, the trailer seems to just be showing gameplay. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's just gameplay. gameplay. It's sorry? just gameplay. There's no real. Um, there's no real. There's nothing really new. Although it's really cool to have official new sabers. That I have to admit is gonna is gonna drive the, the community mad. Because right now we've we've only been getting modded sabers, right? Yeah, we've been getting modded sabers, but I, I think the custom sabers are gonna be like um sticking with like PS4 because like uh you know Right now, like the game right now only has the original sabers, right? That's what it came out with originally. One set of sabers. And they probably looked at the modded community and they were like, uh, they see, they see people like creating all these different types of sabers. So they kind of like, <laughs> these awesome ones. Yeah, these awesome ones. And you can kind of see like in the trailer that, uh, you know, the sabers are nothing like, you know, what you see in Star Wars. It's completely different, right? So yeah. they kind of like, they kind of just figured, like, hey, it'd be really cool to have these different types of sabers. So I think these sabers, hopefully they come out on, on PC as well. But, uh, you know, it looks like uh, it looks like they'll have, of course, new sabers for PS VR and maybe even more. Maybe this is just this is okay. just one of a, of a different uh, one of a different type of set of sabers. OK, OK. I, I'm not I don't know. I don't know what to think. I just I really like these sabers. They're very. Uh... They're smooth. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty smooth. They are pretty nice. I don't know, I don't know what to say about them. They, they look really nice. Like, like, honestly, they look really refined. Yeah. I'm happy to see that. Yeah, they look yeah. really clean. Seriously. Yeah. And, of, of course, um, aside from the sabers... I you, also, you gotta, like... I'm sorry? You gotta, you gotta give credit to the song. Well, the song itself... It, it makes it makes me it makes me think a bit of uh, Benny the Beast. I feel like it's him Benny that mapped is it. <laughs> I feel like it's him that mapped this, and it, it's getting me kind of excited, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then also, I, I like I'm pretty sure this was probably done for like the trailer purposes. But you also kind of notice the, the the score multiplier and the and the uh, the combo isn't showing up on the left and right hand side. So yes. like like I'm not sure if this is like a modifier or maybe they just did this for the perp the dev the devs did this in like for the purpose of the trailer. But um, you know it's just one of those uh, one of those like li just the the little features that can make yeah. a difference. Like this like this is just one trailer, right? Like people like if they actually add this if this is like an actually like a modifier for the game itself then like it'd be nice for people to make like their own type of promotion you know so if they wanted that if they wanted to host their like say a tournament you know if people if someone wanted to host their, their tournament like this looks clean <laughs> it looks really clean like without without having this the scores being displayed and stuff like that like it'd be nice for like promotional stuff yeah it's it's good for a display for yeah. say, at conventions or, or the yeah, sort exactly yeah so uh but i mean i like that score multiplier you know I do, yeah, yeah, I do too, but, like, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it wouldn't be a bad idea to, to have this as a modifier. Clean. It does yeah, look, look clean. Looking at it again, yeah, it looks, it looks really clean. Like, like, just not having those, it makes everything seem more open and, I guess, cinematic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can, it opens up ideas to, like, yeah, for but a I bunch think... of different ideas, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I really don't think uh, I don't think they're gonna <laughs> I don't think they're gonna remove the square modifier. M my my one the one reason I I would think that they might, and this is because I don't have too much experience, would oh. be because of the resolution of PSVR. Oh, maybe yeah, it, it has a, a stronger screen door effect than the Vive and Oculus. Yeah. 
Yeah. Aside have, from that, I, yeah. Have you actually ever used the PSVR before? I used it, and I actually loved it. I really? thought the resolution. I, I thought the resolution was very, very low, but in terms of comfort, it blew all the, the it blew Oculus and the Vive out of the water. I've never used the PSVR before, so I'm not sure, like, you know, in terms of like field of view or like the screen door effect or whatever, you know, comfort levels. Like, I'm not sure how how those things are. I don't know how they feel. I don't know how how you know how the experience is, pretty much. Well, you've you've experienced it actually. It's whenever you're reading text and it's kind of unreadable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh. if your if your resolution goes down, especially in the case of going from Vive to PSVR, that that kind of exaggerates itself. Like it, text becomes a lot harder to read. <laughs> to uh, read. Definitely. And Def- yeah, and I think that perhaps for PSVR, although I'd be super surprised, so don't quote me on anything. But I think that if if it, if it were to be missing, it would be because of that, because it was just not a hundred percent up to par. Well, the thing is, if they don't inc- if they don't have the multiplier in the game, then it's kind of like uh, you, you know, it's kind of like silly, yeah. It, it would be silly. <laughs> like it wouldn't really be like 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 it wouldn't really be, I guess, Beat Saber in a way because because uh, uh, you know uh, you know like the uh, uh, how do I say this like the the people that go for rankings and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure the multiplayer means a lot to them. Like if they miss, yeah. if they miss that one note, it's gonna really affect their score. So yeah, and um, of, for people- of course, yeah, Sorry, go for it. Well, of, of course, um, PSVR has a much wider casual audience. Yeah. Oh, than, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. PC culture has right yeah, now. Yeah, and I believe it, it's also it's also more affordable too. Like it, it's also like simple to set up. I've I've heard. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure how how that works. Yeah. But well, put it this way: um, it, for for PC on on the Vive and Oculus, we've had Beat Saber for about a year now or something. You remember how slow we were to start off, and like like how long was it after you finally beat through the Fire and Flames and uploaded it? <laughs> oh, I think bad. I think I think it was what two two months after the game came out. Yeah, it's. No, I don't, I don't. I don't think two months after the game came out. I think maybe a month I posted. And a half. I think I posted. No, no, no. I posted through the Fire and Flames the same month that Beat Saber came out. I think it was towards oh the gosh. end of May. I think it was towards the end of May. I actually don't remember. I would have to double check on that. Okay. But. Okay, because I'm thinking about back when through the Fire and Flames and things like uh, Reality Check through the Skull used to be like incredible and impossible. Like if you could do it, you were some kind of Oh like, yeah, you're a god. Like people would worship yeah. you, dude. You're like, dude, you've ascended to different levels. Yeah. But now, now we have like all these different. Now we have you, man. You're a, you're a monster. You see, like, I wonder how it's gonna go for PSVR though. Like, okay, so we have these OST songs, right? I mean, they're, they're, they're gonna be people that are gonna they're gonna really go at it and they're gonna try to master it, right? They're gonna try to yes. They're gonna try to full combo these OSTs. Now, like, this is what kind of like this is kind of like a thing where it's like. I hope that there's gonna be some sort of modding support. I mean, I know it's this is like a very uh, this is a very like um, how do I say this? Like we're we're not certain. We we don't have like any confirmation from the devs saying, oh yeah, there will be custom, there will be cu- you know different mods, mm-hmm. or different uh, different like uh, custom songs that you can download and stuff like that. So yeah. you know we're kind of like uh, out of out of the loop f- with that. Well, honestly, I don't think they're going to be, and it's it's a good thing you made me think about it because that, for some reason I just assumed that they would have modding support. But yeah. Odds are they probably won't. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. That that's because that's because you know they have to work with Sony and you know Sony isn't just PC, right? Sony's a yeah a big company. They they have to make sure everything's one hundred percent legal. Yeah. And there's oh, definitely, definitely concerns with the modding community, right? So yeah. I really really doubt that they're actually ever going to have it or at least until the community mods it again for the playstation if that's even possible Uh uh-huh so so here's my speculation like before before like uh this is like maybe a month or two ago when uh the developers were mentioning about having like their official editor right because right now we only have the unofficial editor right (laughs) so so like maybe like a month or two ago they like announced it on twitter (laughs) that uh they they were gonna they were gonna release their own version the official editor right or i don't know if it was on twitter that they said this but i think it was on either the steam news or the twitter or probably both but anyways so i speculated (laughs) so 
<laughs> oh man. So I speculated that uh you know, with the official modding support, I was kind of hoping that you, that people were 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 going to be able to upload their songs, right? And they upload to the Beat Saber, the Beat Saber servers, where from there people can download. Whether you're on PC or PS4, you can download the song there through. So you get what I'm saying? You get you get what I'm saying here? Because so like, you know, they release the editor. People make their songs in their official editor. They upload it. And both PC and PS4 uh, PS4 versions can download the song. Wouldn't that be a great idea? Yeah, like, that uh, would like, be. Uh, like assuming that, like you know, uh, pushing aside from the you know the pushing aside the copyright issues and stuff like that that you know that Sony might <laughs> be concerned with. You know, like I'm just saying, like it'd be really cool to have this. But I yeah, I don't yeah. think I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon because like I said we don't have any word of whether or not there's gonna be modding support for the game. Yeah, they they uh, the thing is the situation you just brought brought up is an ideal. So yeah, it, it feels unlikely because it, it really it's an ideal. Like this is what would happen in the best case scenario. Yeah, that would be probably be the best case scenario. Like there's like I doubt that you know they would make people uh. You know, saying, assuming that there there would be uh, modding support for PS4, which is probably unlikely. Uh, like I, I, I kind of doubt that they would make people cr- create, uh, I guess, uh, different beat maps for both versions, or they have to yeah. upload both both to both systems the the mapper themselves. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, and of mm. course, um, of course, this also for me it would explain. Well, I know we're we're going to uh, discuss their Twitter post, but uh uh-huh. yeah, yeah. For, for for me, it would explain why their their supposedly their their console their console version is going to have the campaign mode and and new tracks oh, yeah. and everything, and they haven't really. I, well, actually, they haven't. Yes. Oh, actually, I was going to say one one more thing before we actually move on to that topic. I was gonna I was gonna talk about the frame rate. Um, yeah. You know. Uh, you know the the frame rate on PS4 or PSVR. Uh, hopefully, I mean Beat Saber is a simple game, right? It's a simple game. There's yes. not, you know, there's not a whole lot of blocks. I guess you could say. I I know if there's a <laughs> lot of blocks in one map, like <laughs> Shrek movie, <laughs> you know, you you know it starts to <laughs> lag, right? So like like so that that comes another like another thing with uh with with modding, right? If there if PSVR does support custom songs like Mm -hmm. this would probably be a concern for psvr users because ps4 is not as powerful as a um you know a 1080 ti 7700k 32 gigs of ram type of computer are you 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 reading my specs no (laughs) no no i'm not that's actually what i have you got you got them oh that's that's what i have that's cool oh but dude like that's that's the I think that's probably something that devs kind of consider was like, okay, you know, if we if we were to accept the custom songs, you know, uh, there would just be some frame. There could potentially be frame rate problems. Well, okay, so in this case, the only limitation that brings us really is that we couldn't we couldn't necessarily import um, PC songs into PS4 songs. Yeah, that, that, that's where that's where the official modding support or the official. Uh, track whatever it's called the official editor right uh would yeah. kick in right they you know like exactly. i mentioned you know they would make the they would make the song through their editor they upload yes. it straight from their editor and uh with their own post- limitations already yeah. In, uh, exactly yeah. yeah and so um you know they once they upload it through the editor it would have both pc and ps4 versions available right yeah. there, right then and there exactly so the only issue is is converting our community modded songs into P- into ps4 but yeah. as soon as the official editor comes out it's really not going to be an issue they're they're it's guaranteed that they're going to optimize it of course they're, they're yeah. not going to allow you to upload a song that crashes people's playstation 4s you know oh yeah yeah i see that that would that would be a concern and i'm pretty sure like not not a lot of people not a yeah. lot of people are, are aware that like yeah it's possible to uh to really slow down someone's computer with like just having a bunch of notes i, I know there's actually a, a, a there's actually I'm, i've never played it myself but there's actually a song on beatsaver.com 
where it, it literally has like a hundred thousand notes in like a short span of time. I forgot what it was called. It was like a, it was like a like an emergency alarm type of title. Dial up. Title. No, no, no. It wasn't, it's not dial up. No, no, no. It's it's, it's something worse. It's something worse. Something worse. <laughs> I, I I don't know what it is then. Um, I I don't. I can't remember. Oh, oh, I found <laughs> it. I found it. The first one. I actually found it. It's the self-destruct sequence has been activated. Please evacuate oh the VR headset God. now. One million notes. Warning, warning, warning. And I highly advise no one to play it because uh, it'll definitely slow down your computer. If not, <laughs> probably like <laughs> it'll probably uh, freeze your VR as well. Like I remember one time I played Dial Up. Uh, I played Dial Up on Expert. I actually have it uploaded on onto uh, youtube what it was uh, my like 10k subscriber special like towards the end i actually showed um myself playing through dial up and expert plus i had it on no fail so just so i was gonna go through the entire song and the, the the entire song is like two minutes long right and after like i don't know like a minute and a half i i, I don't remember my my vr actually uh like i guess froze like it, like it, it wasn't frozen, but like like the game was frozen. The game was frozen. <laughs> My VR wasn't really frozen. I was still able to move around, but the game was completely frozen, and it <laughs> was doing these like weird alarm sounds, like something that you'd hear like at a like at a school like like lockdown kind of kind of thing or something or like fire alarm type of thing. It was like wee 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 like it was doing that, and it like I'm pretty sure that's probably a uh, VR. VR safety type of thing where it's like, hey, your 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 computer cannot handle like because because my frame rate was like at ten, my frame rate was so low, so it was pro it's probably like a safety procedure within the VR's uh, VR system, which I I didn't even know I didn't even know they had that, so it's probably right. like a it's probably like a system that they have in place where it's like, hey, your computer has been at ten frames for like for like thirty seconds, we're gonna go ahead and just lock the game up, you know. That's actually interesting. I. I didn't know. Wait, so you actually think that your VR system itself is what was causing the alarms and not the game? No, no, no it's not the game. No, the game did, did not have that at all. Like, the Beat Saber doesn't have this type of system. I, I believe it's the <laughs> VR. The VR itself has the... Uh, I, I believe it has the ability to just lock your game. Lock your okay. game, and then, like, it just... Everything just stays in place. And you can, But I you can still move around. You can still move around and stuff. I feel like if that's the case, you're probably the first person to ever reach that. <laughs> Uh, I, I like I I didn't really like research into it. Like I'm not sure if this is actually like a real thing, but um. Oh but yeah. man, I hope it is. That's great. Uh, <laughs> if your right. PC can't handle it, it just goes yeah. into alarm mode. I mean, it, it's I mean, it's a it's a pretty smart system if you think about it. Like if you're if somebody is running like a 1050 Ti, and like something sudden just happens, you know, like lots of explosions or something like that, it'll just like kind of save their computer from dying <laughs> i guess you could say and by the way uh never try to play vr with a 1050 ti you go at least with a 1060 really it's bad a 1050 well 10, ti 1050 T ti well like you you can play it but you'll probably have a lot of reprojection issues so it's not really um advised to play with a 1050 ti oh yeah so my let's parents, my parents have 1050 ti's that's why if they ever got <laughs> vr Oh yeah, yeah. It, just go with the 1060. You're way better off with the 1060. You'll get a lot more, mm -hmm. a lot more frame rate, uh, a lot, a lot more frames. Okay, so let's go ahead and yeah. move on. We can go ahead and move on to the next topic, which is about the Twitter that the developers mentioned about uh, the new update coming out pretty soon. Uh, Dear Rift and Vive users, new sabers, modifiers, and practice mode will be added to PC version much sooner in upcoming updates. Yeah. While campaign and five new tracks will come to other platforms at a later date, so we can go ahead and uh, discuss about. Um, we can kind of like discuss about what they what they said in there. What okay, tweet. well, right right off the bat, there's something we mentioned earlier. New sabers is, are apparently coming to the PC version. Okay. Now, I didn't actually so, catch that. So they so, are coming to both. Yeah. So the new sabers. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So the new sabers. You know the one the ones that we probably saw in the in the uh, trailer. They're like that saber those sabers are probably going to be added to pc it, it's kind of nice that even though like even though the pc the pc version of beat saber has um you know uh, modding support for custom sabers it's, it's still nice to see like the developers 
add their own types of sabers, you know, their, their own mm-hmm. their own sabers into the game. That's really nice. I, I think that's really nice of them. In case in case people don't, I mean, for some reason, maybe they just don't uh, have any mods for their game for some apparent reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, they uh, at least they have a couple of uh, new sabers to to play with. Yeah, well, it's it's a good idea because you know it may be surprising, but there are actually a good amount of people who don't mod their beat saber. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a. I'm not sure how many players have like launched up and tried one song in beat saber. I know there's like it's a big number, maybe more than like. Uh, I I know I like I'm pretty sure score saber probably has that has that into account because I'm pretty sure that the OSTs are ranked, right? The original soundtracks are ranked into the into the PP system. Are know? they? I don't actually I I don't I know. Would actually doubt it. <laughs> I I mean, like I, I think it is. I think it is, but I'm, like I'm assuming sure. assuming that it is, uh I, I'm like I'm pretty certain that like anybody that's played at least one song, their leaderboards are going to be in the the score saber system. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Could you yeah. imagine if that if that carries over from PS4 as well? That'd be, that'd <laughs> oh, be all from PS4. Oh, so you're saying like if PS4 had the uh, the the ranking system as well, the PP system? Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, that'd be really weird to be honest. But well, not the PP system, but because I know score saber picks up whenever scores are uploaded to uh, Beat Saber. I think actually, I'm probably wrong. I mean, unless there's like, unless they've implemented a system where like they 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 made the score saber like official. If they made that like an official update, because right right now the score saber is just part of a plugin. It's part of a mod. It's not even like a. It's not even a part of the game really. Yeah, um, that's true. The base game has its own leaderboards. Yeah, the base right? game has its own leaderboards, but for as for custom songs, uh, that's like the score. The, the yeah. leaderboards for custom songs. That's a plugin. That's a mod. It's not like anything like from the developers themselves you know Uh, yeah okay and then i also see new modifiers okay so this is a kind of a big one right here new modifiers so when they say new modifiers what do you like what do you picture in your head like what kind of modifiers do you think that they'll add um when i when i hear the word modifiers i think of have you ever have you uh-huh. used the Beat Saber Tweaks plugin? Yeah, yes, I have. I feel like it's just going to be an official version of that, you know, where you can change the beat, the saber loudness, uh-huh. uh huh, all these okay. other things. Like, like, what else does uh, Beat Saber Tweaks offer? It uh, offers I a know, whole bunch of, of I, I, settings, right? I know, I know. Um, uh, they have like different colored, like different colors for like the cubes and stuff like that. I could be oh, it could be one. That'd thing. be cool. Yeah, That'd that be would be cool. Maybe a colorblind mode as well. Yeah, yeah. Like it'd be nice because, like, well, like I mean, they probably wouldn't even have to really add colorblind mode if they implement the 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 custom colors. You know, like you can modify the red and blue cubes. So, because I know on PC you can change the colors already. So, like, you can have orange and I don't know, orange and teal cubes. You know, so it could be yeah. different. So, like, if they offer like if they offer that type of like RGB system. Then people that are like no matter like because there's different types of color blinds right like people are 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 blind to certain colors while like another group of people are blind to like another cer- certain type of color right so having like an RGB value uh, more more user friendly probably um, would definitely would definitely help uh, no matter what no matter what color you're blind to you can adjust it to so you yeah, can yeah exactly see yeah and then you could probably go online and find settings that people specific kinds of color blindness would uh uh-huh would would select you know mm. so that any kind of color blindness is uh treatable well uh-huh is addressed yeah and then also another thing when i when i think of the word modifiers i think of like uh i i think of it like you know you can uh you know the term dt double time have you heard of that term before sounds familiar isn't the- that in it's an osu it's a po- it's a popular uh game mode in osu where it's like double dting what double time is pretty much essentially is it speeds up the song right it speeds it up so it's mm-hmm. gonna it, you know as a result it's gonna be more difficult right uh dting is typically at 150 percent speed so i i have a feeling that there's gonna be like a 
maybe a certain mode in the game where you can double time <laughs> like yeah, as an official definitely. as an official as an official modifier to the game uh maybe even hidden notes you know hidden notes oh hidden blocks? so you're really thinking you're thinking you're thinking that far ahead well like i'm just hey, i'm just saying yeah i'm just yeah, saying no, like if, if they did like, that it would be fantastic you know how many people uh, would go nuts for that to have an official you know hidden note modifier all these all these kinds of plugins that are already there but not official yeah, yeah, like, it'd be nice to have these as, like, something official, so people don't have to go out, out of their way to download it, you know, so it's already there, so it already yeah. offers that, that, that vanilla content. Yeah, one of the things they need to do, if they want to survive, you know, without the modding community, is mm -hmm. they, need to, they need to make it possible for the player to actually get competitive Mm. In the in the in the PC in the PC version of the game because right now the hardest thing we have is like <laughs> balleric pumping or whatever that sounds called <laughs> yeah. expert you know it's like you yeah. play the game for a week and a half and you can already full combo it it yeah. doesn't make sense. maybe even less like <laughs> depending on how how long you play how fast you learn like cause well, I think I, I, yeah exactly because everyone everyone learns at at different rates you know like uh there, there are people out there that could probably like you know play expert songs within the first day you know like the the first like assuming that this person has never played beat saber they they try the game on normal mode and they're like okay this is pretty cool you know and maybe maybe after like a couple songs they can go ahead and jump into expert and maybe they can do it i mean there are oh people that can gosh. do that there are people that can do that and then there are people I that like kind of struggle <laughs> i'd love to meet the person that does that i, I, I give them 20 bucks <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure there are people out there that that's that 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 experience that you know they they are able to jump into expert mode the same day they picked up the game you know uh, if, if if anyone listening has uh has anybody they know like that just uh send them my way <laughs> oh man yeah uh, you know it's uh it's pretty crazy to, to to see like people can actually do that and then like there are also people that like can master difficult songs pretty quickly as well you know you, have you seen like you know, Galaxy Collapse and uh, Nice Mono, like those songs are just ri absolutely ridiculous. And there's only yes. I know for I know for Galaxy Collapse, uh, Rog Dude is the only one that's actually passed it. That and there's been possible. yeah, and I think there's over like 1,000 downloads, if not more, for Galaxy Collapse. And Rog Dude is still the only one that that's passed it. And Nice Mono, I'm not sure how many downloads it has. I know it has a lot of downloads, but I know Cooling Closet is the only person that's ever passed that song on expert and expert plus and that song's been out for like nearly a month now and what are you waiting for man <laughs> what are you hey, waiting uh, listen for? i tried dude i tried but i choke at the lat i tried with nice mono and i choke at the last phase when like the song speeds up like crazy dude and I, nah, it's, it's tough no choking no it's choking tough. you gotta pass it it has to be your next video yeah now. just just play at 105 percent trust me trust me 105 percent just trust me it's a little easier. <laughs> a tiny bit. You'll be able to get it. All right, all right. Well, we're going off in a little bit of a tangent here, so we can go ahead and uh, we can just we can go to the new uh, our next discussion here, which is uh, they've mentioned in their other tweet that Beat Saber is coming to PS4 on November twentieth. Right, coming out November twentieth. Fantastic. That's like a we're talking about like a week and a half here, mm -hmm. and they also said. With that Beat Saber PS VR launch, that there's gonna they're gonna come up with a bunch of exclusive content. Th they're saying exclusive content, like okay, so th they're they're putting the words PS4 and exclusive content together. So how like like what kind of exclusive content are we talking about here? Like soundtracks? Are we talking about oh, man. sabers? I think I think, and this is just a guess because. Because the PS4 community, right, uh -huh. the majority of them are going to be coming from, uh, I'm not going to say casual per se, but people who are new to Beat Saber, uh -huh. right? And then if, if you factor in their other tweet, which talks about having a campaign and five new tracks, uh -huh. I think, I think since, since it won't have modding support, and since, well, since I assume it won't have modding support, I think their next best bet is to have a really good campaign mode. Okay, okay, so you're saying that PS4, Four is going to have a campaign mode, but while PC version will not. Mm -hmm. Well, the PC, um, 
the thing about the PC version is on Beat Saber, P- P- Beat Saber on PC, um, mm-hmm. its players are phenomenal already. Yeah, yeah, okay. PS4, they can they can start it up finally. They can start it up now. Okay, so kind of like because so you're saying that because PS4 will most likely not have any type of modding support. Maybe a campaign mode will kind of like help that, mm-hmm. like uh, sustain like that uh, their player base a little bit to kind of make yeah. them look forward to, to to do something rather than just play songs and then that's it. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I don't, okay. I don't think they right, have a choice sense. even. I okay. Don't think they even have a choice really. But I, I hope with this quote unquote exclusive content, I hope that it'll. Yeah. I got the power. Sorry, I actually played that. That was a little loud. But I, I I'm hoping that <laughs> e- even with their even with their quote unquote exclusive content, uh, I I hope that it'll come out on PC pretty soon. You know, like sometime after. Like mm-hmm. like I, I know I know like, uh, you know, it's exclusive content, but. It also it just wouldn't hurt, you know. It wouldn't hurt to also have it on PC. Yeah, of course. But I don't know that I, I feel like there's there's a bunch of subtle things that you know go on that happen behind the scenes that okay. wouldn't allow that kind of thing. But you know, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I I don't have enough knowledge about that. But you know what? If if it can come to PC, of course, uh, we're gonna take it. Are you kidding me? I can't say it <laughs> would be fantastic. I, I'd love, dude. Even if it had only the bass songs, just uh-huh. you know, having a sense of progression. Uh huh. Oh, you know. That, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. Well, that way, even if you know, if I because one of my favorite things about having a vibe is having people come over to play, right? Yeah. And I feel like a, a great way to introduce them to Beat Saber would, you know, to, to have a campaign mode that has, you mm. know, a, an easy start. It has build up and it has progression. Okay. Okay. And you know, I was actually live streaming yesterday, and somebody in my chat was saying that. Um, well, like, like I want, like they were saying that it'd be awesome if the campaign mode is similar to like the one in Guitar Hero. Have you ever played Guitar Hero? I have, but not the campaign. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, to briefly explain it to you, uh, pretty much the campaign mode was like, um, so you, you're you have your gig, right? You have your your band together, right? And you're pretty much starting like it, it'd be like your typical your typical band that's like starting from the bottom, right? So you're like, you're, 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 you have your gig, you have like your set, you're like five sets of, like you have like five songs to choose from and you have to perform really well in those. Like there, there are like, there were, um, I believe there were like stars in that and you know, it goes up to five stars. And if you have like five star, if you have enough stars, if you collect enough stars, then you can move, like your gig will move up to like a more, um, a, a more busier place, you know. So like, you you probably start off like maybe at a bar, and then uh, the next place will be like um, I don't a know, hall or something. like a hall, yeah. And then eventually, yeah. like the top will be like concerts and stuff like that, right? That that's how yeah, it was. Yeah. That that's how the campaign was in Guitar Hero. So you think like, so like yeah. it beats like um. So I think it'd be pretty interesting if it, if the Beat Saber does were to take that concept where it's like, uh, you know, the campaign mode has like five songs that you can play and then if you score well if if you score well enough in in um if most if not all songs then you'll unlock the next set of songs that will allow you that that will generally be more difficult you know so it'll so in a way this will allow players to increase their their skills for beat saber yeah i think i think that's that's definitely a good start i'd i'd be especially interested in uh in seeing how they kind of explain that Na- from a narrative perspective because uh-huh. guitar hero had its gig type of thing going on right yeah and i think i think it'd be cool if you know if, if beat saber 2 instead of having like okay this is level one you you've beaten it you did well enough now go on to level yeah. two you know yeah, I, because- i'd like to see what kind of style or theme or narrative they kind of mm. they have to, to motivate you you know yeah yeah i get you and and the thing is too with beat saber like some songs are more difficult than others so it like having a campaign mode would be like a nice way to introduce uh like like to, to kind of like put songs in order from like easy to hard or easy to expert so yeah like that, that this will definitely help out if, that, if, that, if, that. if that's if that's the way how they play out the campaign i'm not i'm not sure how the campaign's gonna go but if this is the case then it'd be really awesome yeah, regardless, I hope they have a difficulty meter. That would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. yeah, difficulty meter, too. I also hope that they add um, 
uh, more options, like more difficulty options, because uh, you know, uh, right now, <laughs> you know, right now, Beat Saber has only four options. You know, they have easy, medium, or easy, normal, uh, hard. Oh no, it's actually five. Sorry, it's easy, normal, hard, expert, expert plus. Right, that's five difficulties. Like, like some of the songs, like some songs are expert plus, but uh, you know, you know. Um, Maybe there's a song. I think Mr. Blue Sky has Expert Plus or Expert. Uh, like, like, comp- like. So I, I think Beats, um, I'm trying to think I of think a song it does that has Expert Plus. plus. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So like Mr. Blue Sky. If you compare a song like Mr. Blue Sky that has Expert Plus to like Galaxy Collapse, both songs are categorized as Expert Plus according to the mapper, right? But that doesn't mean that they're both at the same difficulty level. Or like Freedom Dive. Freedom Dive has ex- Expert Plus, right? Freedom Dive mm-hmm. has Expert Plus. But, but a song like Nice Mono is also expert plus, and and, and there is no way that Freedom Dive and Nice Mono are both the exact same level as expert plus. You know, they're, they're not the sa- It's not the same difficulty level. So it'd be kind of nice instead of having like a, uh, like oh expert expert plus. It'd be like a more like like maybe like a one through ten rating difficulty. Mm-hmm. You know, well, so like. Well- uh, one thing to keep in mind is that um, for, for official songs, songs that are actually in the game, the difficulty, the difficulty wouldn't be rated by the person who maps the song, per se. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't be the ones to give it a score oh, yeah. out of 10. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it they would, have their, ha- their own standards. Yeah. yeah, it would have to be standardized, you know? I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. Mm. Well, it'd, it'd be nice, at least for the PC community. Like, it'd be nice to have, yeah. like, like um, you know, to allow... Uh, mappers to kind of set their own difficulty i guess you can say like i know r- right now the game only reads uh the five difficulties but it'd be nice instead of having it called like export expert plus you can maybe call it like um i don't know uh death or challenge, something you know challenge or challenge or like no do not try <laughs> do not try yeah. <laughs> well it, it gets yeah. confusing at a certain point like if you if you've ever played step mania or dance and Revolution, mm-hmm. it's like the three hardest difficulties are like challenger master and like yeah. very hard and it's like it's like it's hard to, <laughs> like just hearing the names you wouldn't know which one's actually the most difficult oh yeah okay i get what you're saying so you can <laughs> people can get mixed up is that what you're saying yeah i don't think it's a big deal uh, like honestly if they get mixed up it doesn't really matter like when you're playing the game you're gonna know which one's hardest it's gonna be the, the difficulty that's at the bottom yeah but i i like you know from what i've heard people have been saying like um, you know, I, I, sometimes I go through the Beat Saber Reddit and like people, some people complain like, oh, like Expert Plus is not really like Expert Plus. Like it's like, it's either easier or it's harder or like some people even have trouble like finding songs like that are, I guess, easier. Like, cause you know, not everyone in the world can pass Freedom Dive. You know, some people, there's still people out there that struggle to pass Freedom Dive. But like, uh, if a song is like that difficult, like to their skill level to their standard and they're trying to find a song that's not as difficult as freedom yeah. dive you know because like if somebody okay so so let me stick with this example here so this person can't pass freedom dive right and he's trying to look through through some songs to uh help improve his skills right to help improve his gameplay for beat saber uh if, if he finds a song like this mono on expert plus it's not gonna be <laughs> it's not gonna it's not gonna help him in any way shape or form or even on hard mode hard mode is the uh hard mode is the easiest mode for nice mono i I passed it on hard mode because you know i have a lot of experience right but i'm pretty sure the person that can't pass freedom dive will most likely not pass nice mono on hard mode and they'll never play again after yeah and they'll just download it they'll just download the song because uh they couldn't pass it and that's another thing I, i wanted to talk about real quick is um uh, people abusing the uh, the upvote and downvote system. It's like there are people uh, out there that get like so mad, like they get like Minecraft mad at the game, and <laughs> yeah. they just like, oh, I can't pass this song. Oh, I can't pass ten seconds of the song. Oh, dude, it's really bad. This this chart is really bad. I'm just gonna downvote it. You know, like people shouldn't do that. Like th- you should downvote the song. You should downvote the song if it's poorly charted. If it's poorly charted, or maybe it's not. Maybe maybe it's the offset is incorrect, right? Maybe it's it's not in sync or something. Then that's mm-hmm. a that's a legit reason to downvote it. You shouldn't downvote a song because you can't pass the first ten seconds of it. 
You know, yeah, it's, it's because it's not within your skill level. I'm I'm pretty sure there are people out there that do that. And I, yeah, I've seen well, I've seen songs. I think I think the most I've ever seen downloaded for one single song that wasn't actually bad. I forgot the name of it. I really forgot the name of it. It was on stream, but um, it had like like minus 60 or minus 70 downvotes i'm like what the heck mm -hmm. that's insane and well, it wasn't even that bad the, those but, songs tend to be ones that are uh that that are over charted but feel good to an experienced player like so, somebody like you that can play at pretty much any song yeah if if, if, a, if, a, if a song is over mapped it has way too many notes it's yeah. not gonna bother you as much but somebody who's who's trying out a song for the first time and it's like it's, oh yeah it's clearly made for top level players it's like uh, they're gonna downvote it they're gonna be like the hell is this garbage <laughs> exactly dude yeah so i understand exactly. that you know but something to keep in mind that's that's not a beat saber issue that's a modding that's a modding issue there there, there aren't any uploads for, for the bass songs not yet yeah uh, i i think um uh, honestly i think that removing the downvote option would probably be better my opinion, like, cause, cause, think about it like this, okay? People, people will downvote literally for like one mistake you do, right? So if you, if, if a person didn't like a single section of your map, they'll downvote it, like they'll downvote mm -hmm. it because they're like, oh, I don't like this part, you know? So I, I think honestly, it'd be nice if they just got rid of the downvoting system, cause I, I know, I know on Reddit there are some subreddits that, uh, well, actually, I don't know, well, yeah, there's there are some subreddits that removed the downvoting option, so you can only upvote, right? Mm -hmm. so like in that way if you don't like the song don't upload it just don't upload, just leave it as is okay so like you people would kind of get like a sense a sense of idea of like what's good and like what like obviously like the more the more upvotes the better right um mm -hmm. you know like if they see a song that doesn't have that many upvotes then you know they don't have to do anything about it just leave it as is yeah well i'm not i'm not necessarily against downvotes uh, I, just, I like I like how the modding community I like how the modding community does it because they have they have um I, I think so actually correct me no I'm wrong actually what I thought they had was you have the number of upvotes and you also have the number of downvotes and mm. they're not mixed together so they're really two different things I'm fine with that mm. yeah, yeah I get you I get you I, I'm uh, fine with that because I kind of you know if, if somebody if somebody's really mapping poorly. And they don't have any downvote. Well, I guess the the fact that their map isn't going to be popular would tell, uh. get, send them a message. But I, I think I think having downvotes is is a very uh, it's a very certain way to make sure that somebody who's mapping is uh, you know, it's realizes bad. that they need to they need to pay a bit more attention. But again, yeah. that's 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 for that's for the modding community. That's not that's not Beat Saber right now. I, I'm curious to see what the actual Beat Saber devs are going to do about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it'd definitely be interesting. And to kind mm -hmm. of uh, segue into the uh, the whole mapping discussion, we'll go ahead and talk about our last point here, which is, um, you know, you're a mapper, right? You're a mapper yourself. Yes. Uh, so, so just a couple questions here. Uh, do you believe that creating maps like where we're at right now, it, it, does it feel dry to you? Does it feel like it's it's difficult for you to create more songs because like. You know, you, I, I know you've made uh, your best nightmare, I believe, right? That's, that's called your best nightmare. <laughs> what I know you made that one. You, you know, you made your best nightmare, and th that that song, obviously, it wasn't really much of like a like a song to really play through. It was more like a like it felt like mini to me. It felt like mini games. Yeah, that was. was the I felt point. like yeah, yeah. So like you, you did that. That was a creative idea, right? That's completely different. Mm -hmm. So you did that. You, you had like your own mini game section, and then you also had like um, uh, what else would would you say? Like that uh. I don't know, which other maps have you made? Like, it's like that. Get out, get out. Yeah, yeah. Get out, get out, and then also like the never gonna hit those notes. You know, you made those, <laughs> and you kind of utilize like the walls and the the way how the bombs are placed, the notes and stuff like that. You kind you kind of used all those to your advantage. Mm -hmm. You know, to to really make your chart shine, and that's what I really like about your chart. To be honest, like that that's really awesome. Yeah, th I, then I like that's why. That that was something that I really liked about the Shrek movie is that it wasn't a song, it was a movie. Yeah. Like I think so much creative shit in it. Yeah, exactly. And then what what you know, with the Shrek movie being your I think that's like your your biggest chart you've ever made, right? Your biggest successful you mean, chart. 
Uh, I don't know. I think I think Bohemian Rhapsody, even though it's a worse map, like the map itself is pretty terrible. It's yeah. more popular. I think. Really? I'm not sure. I think so, but it's Bohemian Rhapsody. Like you can't really, yeah, you can't hold Shrek. that against Shrek. Like Shrek is Shrek. Uh, it, w- when it came out, oh. it was the fastest. Um, like it had the most downloads within like 24 hours. Yeah, out of any song. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah. I, I can't confirm that. I can't confirm that based on the numbers, like the amount of downloads it had. Mm-hmm. And then, like, yeah, between that and like looking at the top downloads after, you know, Beat Saber's been out for like for a few months at that point, like I was able to, like, I could tell that, like, okay, Sh- Shrek was downloaded like the most within 24 hours because it's uh-huh. it's almost matching what's in the top downloaded songs months later you know mm-hmm. yeah definitely i uh, think after what i think after 24 hours it was at six thousand downloads really six thousand yeah i think so something like that That's i could be lot. wrong i could be wrong bandit i could be wrong well assuming that you're right like if we were to if we we're to actually believe those numbers that's insane like that that actually be insane yeah, I know it's at least <laughs> 3,000, but it could be as much as 6,000. Mm. And then uh, to kind of go back to the question, like, do you feel like, do you feel like it's, it's difficult to, to, to kind of make charts in a new way, if that makes sense? Like to, to kind of be creative with your charts, you know, because like right now we only have, like we only have, uh, well, you know, you as a mapper, you only, you, you only have so much to work with, right? You know, you know, you only have uh, a red and blue cubes right red and blue cubes with like with uh up hits down hits diagonal hits you know like there's there's no like log notes or there's no like um like official variable bpms you know so you can adjust the the speed of the song within the like you you can't adjust Mm -hmm. the chart the, the speed of the chart should i say like the speed of the chart of which the notes approach to you like in the middle of the song Kind of like an Osu. I know, I know an Osu. You can yeah. do that. I think Step Mania. Step you can Mania, do that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't really do things like that in Beat Saber. Like, what? What are you, like? Do Do you believe that this is like a problem right now for like a lot of mappers to like? Like, does it burn uh, out a lot of mappers? Uh, I I think it, it's it's kind of a weird thing. I think I think when when you're a mapper, uh uh-huh. and you just started, you kind of have like a create. You kind of have like like an intense creative freedom because yeah. you have no experience. Normally it's going to be like bad maps, but you're kind of doing outlandish stuff yeah. because you don't really know better. Mm-hmm. And then, and then after a while you kind of realize that almost every map is quite similar. And mm. if, if you, if you map for enough time and, and you like, like the amount of patterns you can use kind of runs dry. Yeah. Well, and, I get where you're coming from. So like you're saying that like somebody that's, that's coming Je- like they're just coming into charting everyone has like their own vision right of like oh yeah i can chart the song like this way i can do it this way i can make these mm-hmm. patterns and stuff like that so and everyone kind of like has their um i, I would say that that you know there are some uppers that have their kind of like signature they're like they have their own type like their own signatures like uh, you know um for example cycle hits you know cycle hits uh, is, it was created by like uh, six different people, but I think mm-hmm. four people actually worked on the chart, and I think two people. Well, no, no, five people worked on the chart, and um, one of the one of the people that was working on the chart also kind of did the lighting with another person. So it was like a total of six people, right? Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways, and it felt uh, different every time, right? Yeah, it felt different. Like like each section, like uh, each charter had their own section. Like they had their section to chart and every section of the song feels completely different because like it, it was done by different people because they have their own mm-hmm. signatures right so so you know if you've ever played you know um if you've ever seen cycle hit uh you can you you will see like oh yeah there's different patterns like throughout the entire song because they were charted by different people they have their own signatures yeah of course <laughs> you know? well just even coming from uh because I, I i recently took part in solace 5 the collab we were like yeah almost 20 different mappers and and well, I, I'm not sure if it was closer to 15 or 20, but either way, um, you, you can you can definitely tell when it's a when it's a new section, a new mapper, you know. Yeah, everyone has I their. Definitely do. Yeah, well, there are some there are some parts that are very similar, of course, but the, you you can really notice a difference. Like if you skip one minute through that song, like if you just go in intervals of a minute, 
it's a completely mm-hmm. different sell at each point. Yeah, I, I really like Solus Five. Solus Five, Solus Five is a really interesting chart. Um, mm-hmm. so, Did some you like sections, they're caged. caged. Um, you know, <sighs> huge, <laughs> huge. Um, buddy, listen. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, honestly, I think Cage could have been better. <laughs> to okay. be honest, I, I, I think it could have definitely been a lot better. But I, I did like the sections of like how you really trapped the player in like a little tiny, in a tiny, mm-hmm. you know, like at, you know, being the name Caged. You know, you're caging the player, which is really nice. I really, I, I kind of wish you did a little bit more of that. Maybe yeah. like I, I know, like I think you started off. I, I think the first section of doing that was um with the blue the blue cubes right the blue sabers what do you mean like like okay so like the first section of like you having to crouch down and actually be caged i think it was the the blue cubes right i'm not sure i think it was actually the red ones but i'm i'm not the red sure first okay so mm-hmm. okay so like pretty much what i'm trying to say here is that like you only did it with one color like it'd be probably be like it'd be nice to have more It'd be nice to have like more cage section sections like that, but instead of having just one color, you can mix it up, right? So it'd be like blue, red, blue, red, blue, red type of thing. Oh, that would have been cool, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that would have been cool. Like My, something like that <laughs> would have been would have been pretty cool. The reception on cage was like either either meh, like I kind of it's nifty, or God, I hate this. That's what <laughs> I got so far. Yeah, uh, like I think because like the guitar here. Have you seen the Clone Hero version of Caged? Yeah, I saw that. It was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, the way how they handle it was, like, of course, you know, your cage between green and or- the green and orange button. So, like, you had to hold those buttons down while you're doing the uh, the three yeah. the three notes in the middle. So, that's caging the player, like, in that way. And then, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I kind of, like, it just could have, it could have been better, Pewsh. I'm sorry, but... It's okay. I'm it's sorry. Okay, you, <laughs> I got it. Well... Yeah, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get over it. I'll survive. And then uh, one last question before we wrap this up is: um, Do you is there anything that you'd that you wish to see for the the modding tools? So like, uh, you know, like, is there anything that that you wish that it was there was in the modding tools to kind of make your life easier? Um, I know they recently at well not recently but maybe like um, like a month ago they added copy and paste to lighting. Did they? Like, yeah, they did. Well, well, was, at least there's was like a tutorial. In... I think there's at least like a, t- a tutorial. In oh, the... okay. You're t- okay. You're talking about going into the JSON and doing it. Yeah, no, I've 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 done that a lot. I had to do that for sure. Yeah, like or, or are there any features like you know variable v- variable variable BPMs or. Um, I don't know, long notes or something like like something like a feature that you wish for them to add to the modding tools or maybe the dev the, the developers adding to the game so then it can be used in the modding tools. That makes sense. Uh, I'll just offer, I'll just uh, I'll just say quickly that um, before before now I was talking about creative creative freedom oh. and mapping and patterns. It, it's just a little tangent, but I'll get right back to your question. Oh. Uh, as much as we're kind of running out of patterns, I think there's there's no end to the kind of creativity. If someone's really creative and, and goes into mapping, mm-hmm. they're gonna find a way to make their map really pop, like kind of under the sea. Yeah. Okay. Where you, yeah. you actually go into a fake wall at each time it says under the sea, and then you know, in terms of yeah. Sorry, go go for it. You're you're the one that's speaking. Well, no, I'm gonna go back to your other question. Oh, okay, yeah. So I was, I was gonna like la- I was gonna latch on to what you were saying. Um, yeah, that's why I would have yeah. been awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I just wanted to add what you were saying. Actually, that um, when I was uh, when I was taking uh, photography in college, uh, yeah, I remember my professor saying that um, uh, just because, like, like so, the the most creative people are often like uh, used within like a in a restricted. And restricted like okay so what i'm pretty much trying to say here is that like just because that you're restricted to something doesn't mean you can't mm-hmm. be creative you know like it, it, like um yes. here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, compare compare this with streaming like some people think that like 
uh, if you have all the equipment in the world, you know, like you see yeah. like these big streamers that have like nice lighting, nice camera, the, these nice specs on the on the computer, you know, they have a nice room, you know, uh, just because you have that doesn't mean you'll automatically be successful. You know, the most the most creative people are the ones that are are limited with their work. You yeah, know what I'm saying well, like like just I, because you have all these like just because like just because you have all these like accessibility to all these different features or all these different equipments and stuff like that is not going to make you like creative or the, the the most successful person in the world like you have you have to work with what you have yeah i i completely agree with like i know i know exactly what you're talking about that the limitations actually induce creativity rather yeah, than yeah yeah uh, and inhibit it yeah because you have to think outside the box like i i kind of th- i kind of think that's what you're what you're talking about here is that like oh just because like yeah uh we're limited doesn't mean that we can't be creative Mm -hmm. that's that's why every time i make a a new map i always try i always see if i can try something new so even Mm -hmm. if i bust out something like caged and everybody hates it like that Mm -hmm. that's fine that's fine by me because i i learned that that's a risk i took that not many people are gonna appreciate so much yeah Mm mm-hmm yeah, I and definitely get what you're saying. At th- least you that, that learned. A, yeah, that was a risk to take, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe like... I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was going to say, like, maybe not, like... You probably shouldn't ditch that idea, like, what you've tried creating. Maybe you can try just further improving that idea that you had there. Like, whatever you you tried visioning there, you could probably improve that formula, you know? Improve oh, yeah, that that's, pattern. That's kind of what, what happened when when I was doing Shrek basically every map that i've done before that i kind of uh-huh. tested mechanics i've tested creative things whenever i i make a map i try to think outside of the box and and like like, like if i can make a, a player say wow okay I've, this is something i've never experienced in beat saber before even if it's to a small extent you know and you, whether or not that's it, it's in a good way if it's in a slightly bad way but with positives to it i don't mind as much but if it's in a completely negative way then i've learned but anytime I take a risk like that and I get people's reactions, I get their, I get their, um, what they've thought of those uh, innovations. And I used all of that in, in Shrek, you know, as best as I could. I, I, I used all those mechanics uh, and I, I know how people would have felt with all these kinds of innovations. Mm. And, you know, it, it, it allowed for the Shrek movie as a whole to feel fresh all throughout. It never felt tedious. Oh yeah, definitely. I remember when I was playing through the Shrek movie. It was like it just every I, like it didn't feel like a like a chore playing through it. Like exactly. everything was just so everything was just so fun about it. You know, I, I really liked everything about the Shrek movie. And I'm not, I'm not just like I'm not I'm not like just saying that because you know you're my friend or anything. But like you know <laughs> you know I'm being like I'm just being genuine here. Like I, I really really did like everything about it. Uh, it's it's. <laughs> it's really difficult to kind of think of something that didn't work out well, uh, except for that, for that part where it's like you you force the player to go inside a fake wall. I like that. <laughs> that. You can miss any part of that map, but not that part. <laughs> you know, that's actually the part I received the most compliments on. People yeah. love that part. Yeah, but I, like I'm just saying that, like. Uh, I'm not going against it. I'm just saying that, like, you know, for people that are just not aware that fake walls actually exist, that, well, that's possible yeah. to create fake walls in Beat Saber. It's kind of like, you know, uh, it's, well, it's just... Cur- like, currently, I'm not being sued, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah, you're not, you, you could potentially give somebody, like, a heart attack on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, back, to the, back to the question. Um, so is there, like, even if it's just, like, one feature that you could that you could like cr- imagine in your head that would be awesome to have in Beat Saber, that would be awesome to have in the, in the modding tool, or, yeah, uh, what, what would you think would be an awesome addition? Okay, so I have, I have two biggest ones. I don't okay. know where to put them, whether, what, like, I don't know how to determine which one's bigger than the other, but this is, this is, this is King Pusha's necessary two, two editions. The first one is... Um, Variable BPM, of course. Okay. Of course. Yeah, yeah, that would be fun. Of course, if you can have freeze notes, are you kidding me? Do you know how much stuff I'd be able to do with that? Oh, uh, imagine that, with that like, would... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you out. Go for it. Yeah, no, I was just gonna say that that would open up so many doors. 
That's oh, my definitely. number one. Actually. That, beats, that beats number two, but number two is a pretty big one too. Oh, uh, real, real, real quick before you go to number two, like, um, have you, have you ever listened to the song, uh, um, what's it called? Trend, Trendsetter, I think it's called Trendsetter. No. No. Oh well. Anyways, it's like, um, I really don't know how to explain this, but it like, it, this is the type of song that would uh definitely benefit like variable BPM and stuff like that. Oh dang! I sent you a song in Discord. I don't wanna. I don't wanna say it here because <laughs> I sent it to you months ago. But it 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 used it used variable BPM in Step Mania in order to make kind of animations. So really? I think legitimately, it's so cool. I I could I could see myself doing that in uh, Beat Saber if if ever if ever that were to happen. Okay. Because it goes it goes from like freezes to like nine thousand BPM, so it's like the the notes kind of like wave yeah. and stuff. Like oh yeah, yeah 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 I remember I remember I remember yeah I remember seeing that. Can you I, imagine I know what you're talking about. In Beat Saber? Like, oh, I don't dude, want to talk about insane. it anymore. Yeah, that'd Cause, be cause what, crazy. One 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 of these wankers listening, man. They're gonna take they're gonna take this idea and they're gonna say it was theirs. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about that anymore. Then okay, you got it. Keep it a keep it to yourself. <laughs> and, uh, no, what, what was your second? What was your second? Uh, your second idea or your second? Uh, second hopes? second necessary thing is uh, hold notes. Hold notes. Yes. Like 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 uh, you know in in Step Mania or Dance Dance Revolution where you where you have to hold the note down. Oh, oh, long notes. Okay, all right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would be pretty, uh, pretty interesting. But like, I kind of thought about this too. Like, how would they manage long notes? Like, do, do you just keep your saber there? Like, do you just keep it at one place, at one spot, and just kind of like? Have you ever played a? Uh, have you ever played Donkey Konga? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, there's. Do you, do you know the Donkey Kong rhythm game with the with the with the bongos? Does that sound even so. familiar to you? I, I think so. I feel like I, I've seen it before. But I, okay, because yeah, no, I'll go ahead and proceed. Okay, because because it's it's like a it's like a hold note kind of because one of the things you can one of the notes you have is like clapping, uh -huh. and so during that hold note you're kind of supposed to clap a lot. <laughs> so okay. so so basically for a hold note in Beat Saber, like you just kind of swing inside of it or something like continuously, like you, you swing inside get, of it. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't get bonus points for. For like swinging like like heavily every time, you know. But as long as your hands moving, you get full mm. points in it. Yeah, that'd be pretty interesting to be honest. I mean, we might. I mean, go, just real, really quick going back to the Twitter. I mean, they they. Hopefully that they'll have, uh, uh, maybe that can be considered as like a modifier in some way, where it's like you know you because you you'll be modifying the notes, you know. Like it'd be awesome for 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 the devs to uh, implement long notes. Yes. To the game, that'd I be really wish. cool. I, I could, I could, I could, I could hope. I can fantasize, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long time before that happens. I feel it. Yeah, and then uh, is there anything else you'd like to say, Piush, before we wrap this up? Uh, yeah, just curiously, do you think Beat Saber on PS VR is gonna affect you in any way? And if it does, or maybe would you ever stream it for whatever reason? If there's some kind of really innovative change? Uh, like, are you asking me, like, whatever, like, stream PSVR? That, well, no, Beat Saber uh, VR in particular, you know, since uh, since you're kind of, like, the Beat Saber streamer. <laughs> the Beat Saber streamer. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Um, I, I really think it's gonna, it's gonna benefit the, you know, uh, the community for the, the the community for Beat Saber, even even if if you're just a PC user, like even if you use, you know, if you play Beat Saber on PC, um, it'll definitely, um, it'll help everyone out because with a bigger community, that'll like like okay, so say somebody somebody plays on the PS VR version, right, and they really really like the game, and they kind of like they they go out of the way to just watch youtube videos and watch to watch um streamers and stuff like that and maybe they might get curious and they might want to start mapping on their own you know all because of psvr yeah. all because of beat saber on the ps4 version so uh e even if you're a pc user it's going to definitely benefit uh the, the beat saber community definitely so uh I, I think in a way it'll definitely help me out too because um 
you know people yeah. like, I, like i mentioned like they'll, they'll go through streams they'll go through youtube videos and they by the off chance they might run into my channel uh they'll they'll, they'll watch me for the beat saber stuff mm -hmm. it's true we, we can expect you to get a little spike yeah just a tiny bit just a tiny bit <laughs> just, just a little spike and you, you can you could ride that wave a little bit see where that takes you and if the P psvr version offers anything really really game changing you know we'll, we'll just have to see we'll have to see because we'll we, we see. still we'll don't know see. like they haven't really like the developers haven't really said anything like specifically of what's coming they just they just dimension new sabers new modifiers practice mode uh new tracks campaign mode that's all i really said mm -hmm. you know they haven't specifically went into details of what but they just mentioned Look, as long as, the stuff. as long as they don't say the official editor is almost on its way <laughs> all right peace well it was nice having you here oh, thanks uh, for having yeah me, it was it's it was really interesting talking to you first time ever having a podcast and i i i, I really enjoyed it i did the podcast Woo! all right and uh thank you for everything Pius. is there anything else you'd like to say any any last any last words before you go uh oh man anyone watching this you, you better hit that like and subscribe you better hit that button <laughs> all right king Pius, the man that created the shrek movie thank, thank you, you. For, thank you for having me yeah no problem it was a pleasure talking to you and I look forward to seeing how things go. Me as well. All right. See you later, Pius. Peace.